Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now today, we're going to be taking a look at a video that was actually suggested to me by a couple of you guys over on OS Forms. And I do want to thank all of you guys here for, um, you know, actually, you know, uh, making this post and uh, making this, uh, you know, aware to me that, you know, you, you guys did actually want to see this. But essentially what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at how you can get the Windows Vista and 7 gadgets in Windows 8 and Windows 10. As if you are uh, not aware, and you you know probably are, but Microsoft for uh, a number of reasons in Windows 8 and you know in uh, Windows 10 obviously, um, when Windows 8 came out, they one of the many things that they uh, r removed from Windows 7 and Windows Vista was the Windows 7 gadgets and the Windows Vista sidebar and all of that stuff. And a lot of people, uh, similar to the whole uh, Windows 7 games, uh, you know, little controversy where they actually took those out in favor of a more uh, modern UI uh, approach to those games, they kind of did the same thing with the whole Windows 7 games with the Windows 7 gadgets. They kind of took those out in favor of the modern UI. Um, because they were trying to kind of, you know, push that. That was kind of Windows 8's, you know, huge feature that they were kind of, you know, really trying to, uh, you know, get out there. And when Windows 10 came out and they kind of brought back, uh, you know, the whole start menu thing, um, they obviously didn't bring the Windows 7 gadgets back because they felt that, you know, they didn't really need them because, you know, again, uh, the uh, modern UI uh, sort of quote unquote gadgets are still there from Windows 8. But, you know, nevertheless, there are a lot of people that still, uh, you know, prefer uh, the Windows 7 gadgets over this whole modern UI thing. And that is why that a couple of, uh, you know, different projects have actually, um, you know, come out in the past couple of years. And we're going to be taking a look at both of them, or, you know, two of the major ones in this video. Uh, one of them is 8 Gadgets Pack, and the other is Gadgets Revived. Let's just get started here. We're going to start things off with uh, 8 Gadgets Pack. And, you know, it's a very simple name. It was obviously, um, you know, designed for, with Windows 8 in mind, but you can see that they are running Windows 10 here uh, in this uh, little screenshot right here. And you can use Gadgets in Windows 10, 8.1, and Windows 8. Um, They've, you know, got uh, a very long uh, frequently asked questions thing here about like a bunch of different questions that I'm sure people have asked. And it's got, uh, you know, version history, that type of stuff. And, you know, we're going to be taking a look at this one. Uh, this was one of the major ones as well as Gadgets Revived, which is another project that if we go to the sidebar here, um, this one actually seems like uh, it is pretty cool. I'm not sure if 8 Gadget Pack does this, but it actually adds um, the uh, gadgets uh, context menu option back when you would, because in Windows 7, if you're not aware, when you would right click on, on the desktop, along with having the options at the very bottom to change your screen resolution and uh, go to personalize, you would also have this gadgets option in, in, in the middle right here. And Windows 8 uh, and Windows 10, and I can show you right here, uh, you don't have that anymore. You just have it's changed to display settings and personalize. It's, it's you know totally gone. Uh, so they add this back to the uh, context menu, which is pretty cool. Uh, they've they're also showing that they've had they uh, added the uh, show slash hide gadgets command right here when you go into the view options when you right click on your desktop. And they've also gone as far as to add this back into the control panel, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see here they've added all of these options right here. So let's just get things started here with 8 Gadget Pack. We're going to install this and, uh, you know, I am doing this on my host computer as you can see here. Um, so this is version 21.0.0. We're going to hit install. And I guess it's going to kind of, you know, affect my whole uh, rain meter setup on the side here. It's going to, you know, drop them over there. But, you know, that's not a problem at all. We're going to... Uh, I might just have to turn off a rain meter uh, for that, but it's going to sit here and hopefully install pretty soon. Alright, so you can see we have uh, finished. We are at the very last uh, part of the setup and we've got this checkbox out in here to show gadgets when setup exits. So we're going to click finish and hopefully the gadgets, I can see that my cursor is loading, but I assume they're just going to kind of pop up. They might even do it on my second monitor. 
but okay i can see it right there here we are so i am going to let me just turn off rain meter because um it looks like that's going to kind of uh you know sort of conflict with everything but so it has loaded up uh three uh widgets here it's got a, a similar looking clock one uh to the one that was in windows 7. uh this one weather one here kind of looks a little bit uh, different than the one that was in Windows 7 and Vista. It's for, the first thing is it's you know sort of transparent as you can see there. Uh, it you know actually is transparent. You can see that it blends right through uh, to my actual desktop wallpaper. It's got a uh, Google search widget because uh, Gadgets Revived was the last thing that I searched for, and it's got some. Let's see if we can click on edit here. It, apparently the thing on the on the side like these these options here look identical to what was in windows 7. um it is sort of if you can't really see the other half of it it is bleeding onto my second monitor um so i'm not sure if that's really like a bug or if that's that might just be the way that this is positioned but so it does look a little bit different it's not going to be you know totally like identical to the one that was in windows 7. um but you know it is pretty cool that they were able to actually bring these things back so we've got up here we've got a window manager which okay this is actually pretty cool so it actually brings up a sort of a task switcher looking ui to the uh task or, or not to the task bar but to the uh, sidebar as you can see here and this is definitely something that would be similar to you know if i mouse over uh down here let's say on camtasia recorder and you can see it's it literally is kind of the same thing it, it's even live uh, as well and it's also um, if i you know mouse over this it is also going to focus uh, on you know uh, like whatever window like if i have something minimized if i you know mouse over this it'll kind of you know sort of bring it up and focus on it for me um, and it's also doing this because both of these windows are, are uh, on my second monitor and it's kind of um you know flashing through those which is pretty nice so that's something that the windows 7 sidebar did not have or the windows vista sidebar and the windows 7 gadgets because the actual sidebar part of it was uh removed in windows vista or in windows 7 sorry but this is something that it did not have uh by default there may have been like a third party gadget that you could have gotten but that is pretty cool um, we've also got uh, this whole kind of page thing going on here where you can add separate pages uh, we can of course if you don't like the whole sidebar thing you can kind of like move the gadgets say over here um, but you know you, you can if you want to you know kind of keep them uh, in the side um, we're going to click on the the plus here and see so we kind of have the same uh, or a sort of similar looking ui to where you know you can go through and choose uh, all these different uh, gadgets and we've got a seven sidebar so let's say we want to uninstall that um, so that totally gets rid of the of the sidebar so now say you didn't want like that whole sidebar thing if you were not like a you know fan of that uh, you you could you know just you know totally uninstall that from here and had just have the gadgets uh, on their own and I, I don't know I guess I yeah, I guess I totally like uninstalled that from here, which is something I didn't really want to do. I, I just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, temporarily uh, remove it. But um, I guess that's what uninstalling it does. But, you know, you can you, we can go through here. We've got a couple of the same ones that were in Windows Vista and 7, uh, like this clock widget. Uh, some new ones. Okay, well, this uh, CPU meter is, is kind of the same thing. This actually looks almost or pretty much identical. Uh, to what was in Windows um, Vista and 7. Um, custom calendar, you know, just all these different various gadgets in here. There's a ton of them, and I'm sure you can add more on their website. System Monitor 2. Curious to see what this is. Is this some totally different? Okay, it's an image of the in of an Intel Core i7. Um, I don't even think, is that, that's not even a, a thing. What? It's like not even... That's like stuck there now. That's stuck there permanently on my desktop. So it did something there. It opened up um, uh, the Windows command prompt when I did that for some reason. I don't know what this is. System monitor 2. So this this is kind of a, a CPU monitor type thing. And I, I think I opened up like three of them. I didn't really want to. but So it'll, it'll show you, you know, various stats about your, um, you know, CPU, RAM, all that kind of stuff. So... 
you know, I'm not going to go through every little thing here because I, I do want to move on to, you know, to the second program. Um, but, you know, you guys can, you know, go through here and see all of these uh, various gadgets in here and, you know, kind of play around with them and pick out your favorite one. So before we do that, I do want to see if, okay, it does add the gadgets thing back to the, the context menu here. So that is something that I guess both of them are, are going to do. So that is that is very nice. If I go into the control panel, let's see if it let's see if it does that as well. Desktop gadgets, that's in here also. So by the you know by the looks of it, by by first glance, it sounds like these programs are gonna be very similar, but we're still gonna take a look at this second program here, desktop gadgets revived. Uh, to see if there's anything different and you know if there's any reason why uh, you might want to choose this program over uh, the eight gadget pack so it is saying that there is a I guess you can't have these both installed at the same time it is actually asking me to uh, uninstall the sidebar package that's already installed so I'm gonna go do that really quick okay so we are now installing the Windows desktop gadgets revived on the computer as you can see here, and we're going to see, as I said, if this is really anything different. And to be honest, it really doesn't look, it actually looks like the same thing. It kept the same layout that I had. Um, so this, uh, I, I don't know if this is anything, you know, totally different or if this is made by the same people. I don't know. There, there are a couple of different, it seems like there are a couple of different gadgets in here. Um, if we click on this get more gadgets online it, it does bring us to the gadgets revived site here so i don't know that's that that's kind of funny because they they do look like exactly the same okay so now the uh like desktop gadgets thing has a little bit more like it's got some sub options here this is something that the other program did not have but i don't know if this is because i installed that other program before and it kind of kept a lot of the same things that definitely could be uh, a major factor here, but um, you know, so far they definitely look kind of the same. But I'm gonna let you guys, you know, decide for yourselves of, you know, which you know one of these programs that you know you guys prefer. I'm gonna have these down below in the video description um, for you guys to actually, uh, you know, go and check out. Uh, I do want to give a huge thanks to all of you guys over on the forums for posting this and actually, you know, suggesting this video to me. If you guys, you know, want to suggest your own video, there is a whole form or a, uh, you know, sub form category on here uh, to where you can actually, um, you know, post uh, any various, uh, you know, video suggestions. Um, huge thanks to you guys. Thank you so much, uh, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this brief little, I'm saying brief little, it's about like 20 minutes because, you know, that's what happens with these videos. But, uh, you know, you guys you know, know, know how the, the, that this goes with me. But, um, Anyway, just want to thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and if you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to uh, you know give it a like, subscribe uh, for more videos like this in the future, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.